So hey guys and welcome back to the channel. On this week's video we're actually out in Tenerife for a long weekend break with the wife, it's her birthday, and we've got a couple of days in store for you. One being going up to Easy Rider tomorrow and we're not picking up a bike this time, we're actually picking up uh, the Camaro that they've just got. So it's a 6.2 litre V8 Camaro and also it's a soft top, great for the weather. So come join us for a full weekend, a little bit of a trip around Tenerife. El Medano has a dark beach because it's obviously a volcanic island. As you can see, it's pretty busy today. Um, there's the El Medano Hotel. That's the one we're in again. I stayed here in March when I came over with the Easy Rider last time. And I think three nights in the hotel is about £260, but you get also a lovely balcony view over the beautiful sea here. And I'm not sure if you can see in the distance there, you've got a lot of kite surfers and kite schools over at the other end of the beach. Now with it being on the beach, you've got the hotel and then some streets and things with restaurants. And then also it's right next to the town square. So uh, on a Sunday, you've got a Sunday market just on here, which is lovely. And then tonight, I booked into a nice fish restaurant next to the hotel, just overlooking the sea, to treat my wife for her birthday. So I'll show you some of that just later. And like I say, we're out with Easy Rider in their new rental car from tomorrow. We've got it for two days. And we're going to head over the volcano, show you that. And then also go up to the north of the island and show you some sights. So uh, if you're interested in Tenerife for a short break and even a motorcycle adventure break with Easy Rider, the classic bike rental company here, then stay tuned, keep watching. That night we found a really nice fish restaurant next to the hotel where we could celebrate my wife's birthday. Following morning we had a really nice breakfast at the hotel and then got collected by Adam from Easy Rider to head up to his place to collect the Camaro. Okay, so good morning and welcome to Mount Tady. Uh, behind me we've got the sea and uh, down there the coast. And uh, we're just starting up the mountain, just on the T38 or the TF38. But yeah, just look at that view behind me. I've just stopped at a lovely restaurant with this uh, beautiful vista. Absolutely stunning. So there she is, the Camaro convertible. Just sat over there. Like I say, I'll show you that shortly. So here guys, you catch us in the Camaro, just here with Mrs. Moto UK. And uh, we're just heading up the side of Mount Tady. This is the TF38. We've got the 360 camera on the back, so you can see the, uh, the full view. We're just heading through the Corona Forest, funnily named. And just to let you know about the Camaro for hire, this has been uh, hired from Easy Rider Tenerife, from Adam and his boys. And this car you can actually hire out. And if you're hiring rent-a-bikes, 
some of the classic motorcycle range that Adam's got. If you've come back to the island and you want to bring your family back, then it's a good way to uh, get everybody in the car. Get a nice V8 6.2 litre engine in this vehicle. And a classic muscle car to go with it. So just for your information guys, the volcano on Tenerife erupted about 100 years ago. Still an active volcano. Hopefully it doesn't uh, erupt today while we're going up it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's the tip of it on the top. You see the left yeah. peak? Yeah. So we're at the top of Mount Tady. Um, uh, if you see Obviously the, the top just over there, the tip of the volcano, and then you can see the black part where the, uh, the actual volcano erupted out the side, it didn't come out the top. And then you've got this big plateau here where it all landed before it ran down the side of the mountain. It's a very popular route with motorcycles. If you're renting any bikes from Easy Rider Tenerife, this is one of the most popular routes over the TF38. Absolutely one of the best roads in Europe, in my opinion. And also one of the best cars to do it in Camaro 6.2 litre V8 Beast. Huh? So we're just at a restaurant called La Paz for some lunch. A lot of motorcycles pulling in, very regular current motorcycle stop off on the way down from the volcano. Triumph Speed Twin. And lots of other bikes parked up. Some beauties. Lovely, lovely MV Brutale. Awesome. Ducatis, dragster there, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Lots of naked bikes. Nice V4 Street Fighter in black, matte black. Gorgeous. Alright, time for some lunch. 
So Cafe La Paz, nice cakes. Great spot, great biker cafe. As you can see just outside, we've got some great bikes. Some Aprilias, Ducatis. Nice Honda Fireblade there, an older version. Nice MV Augusta, very tally. Heading off there. Got some great seating outside. This road that these bikes are coming down is off the TF21 from the top of the volcano. And the Camaro is just down the road there. So La Paz Cafe and the wife just coming. And we're going to head down to Porto de la Cruz. Okay, we've just arrived in Porto de la Cruz. Nice old, old town as well, as new. And as you can see here, lots of crashing waves. Good for surfing, except for the rocks. <laughs> so, in the distance you can just see the outcrop. I believe that's a huge swimming pool area. And also there's a little town beach just down there where people are swimming little cafe so yeah let's explore Porto de la Cruz Nice old church, right in the centre of the old town. Lovely square. So welcome to another glorious sunny day in Tenerife and uh, today we're actually in Los Gigantes, we're just in the harbour, just over the back of me you can see the, uh, the Camaro just parked there. So Los Gigantes on the west coast of Tenerife, one of the, uh, the nicer parts, not too touristy, does have a uh, wonderful little marina just here, well protected, love sailing, love boats. And I uh, love this old catamaran just here. Look at this. Obviously a good stop off before you head over the Atlantic to the US. But I think this is one of the uh, the tourist boats. This is a whale watcher that takes uh, paying customers out. So while the wife's in a perfume shop having a look round, I'll just show you the, uh, the marina from the other side. 
plan of attack today is to go uh, to Obama Beach. Uh, it's about 10 kilometers away from here. Lovely little cove and uh, great for swimming. So we'll finish off the day with a bit of uh, sea action. And then this morning, we're just gonna uh, have a little coffee. Don't know if you can see the mountains in front of me. I'll just turn the camera around now. It's pretty spectacular. Wonderful mountains, huge cliffs just on the, uh, the edge of the marina. Now with the flights being four and a half hours to get here, is it a destination you want to come to for a long weekend? But this is my second long weekend, a very pleasant one too. Again with Easy Rider Tenerife, but this, this time taking out the, uh, the Camaro. Highly recommend it. Uh, like I say, four and a half hours to get here, but it's actually an hour less going back because of the wind. So it's three and a half hours to get back to the UK, being Manchester Airport where I flew in from. So I'm going to find the wife and uh, get a coffee somewhere. Okay, so we're just, I think it's the Ritz Hotel behind me. This is all part of their complex just here. And this is basically where a lot of the motorcycle manufacturers do their press launches. And uh, we're just walking down actually to Obama Beach, which is uh, quite a way down. There's free parking at the hotel just at the top. As you can see, there's buggies, golf buggies. I think if you stay here, you get the use of a golf buggy to uh, explore the resort. And then just in front of me, the wife's plodding down the hill. Like I say, free parking at the top, but then you've got about a quarter mile walk down the hill. Uh, opposite the property is uh, banana plantations. Banana plantations forevermore. Look at them bananas, ready for picking. Now the beach down here is meant to be really nice, really well kept. Also a little train just there taking you up the hill. That's handy, didn't know there was a train running. Yeah, the hotel keeps the beach really clean. There's a, uh, a cafe, a beach bar, I think down there as well. I'm not sure if there's some beds and umbrellas, but we're gonna check that out. So if you are coming, it might be worth bringing an umbrella. And I think we've got some steps to get down to the beach. Absolutely glorious day again. Yep, there we go. So the beach down there, nice cove, and also there's a breakwater, so it's really nice for swimmers. So as you can see, we've got a nice restaurant down by the beach. And then you've got a lovely secluded cove. Also the sunbeds with some umbrellas as well. They are at a cost because they belong to the hotel, the Ritz-Carlton, and they're about 50 euros for two sunbeds and an umbrella for the day. So you get what you pay for, or you sit on the beach and uh, get burnt. But yeah, beautiful bay, absolutely gorgeous. So time to get the trunks on, time to get in the, uh, in the ocean. Okay, so that about wraps it up for this holiday. Hope you've enjoyed our little trip this time, guys. Uh, back to normal motor vlogging next weekend. But uh, yeah, we're just saying goodbye to El Medano. If you're looking for a non-tourist resort and just to uh, get to grips and at one with the locals, then uh, highly recommend El Medano and also the El Medano Hotel, just here, right next to the, uh, the water. Um, taxi rank is just over the square to the back of me. We're just going to jump in a taxi now and head off to the airport. Literally 10 minute ride. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And if you're not a subscriber to the channel, then uh, hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell for future videos and we'll catch you on another one soon. Take care. Cheers.